Hi guys, welcome to the start of another vlog. My mom called me like a little bit ago and she said that <laughs> one of my packages got returned. I have to go over. I went to go pick up the package from my mailbox and now I'm back because I have to print out a new shipping label and like repackage the whole thing and then send it out. And I'm gonna have to go back to my mom's because I left all the packing tape there. I really should keep some here and some over there, but <laughs> I have to bring in packing slips eventually because the ones that I'm using are kind of a little too small for some of the hats that I'm sending out. They're not like thick enough, I guess. I think I need to get like 10 by 8s or something. That would probably be a little bit better. Or I might end up having to get like poly miller slips. I have been sending a lot of stuff out <laughs> on Etsy. So it's in now I actually do need to start like investing in packaging and stuff. Since I reopened my Etsy shop, we're gonna, um, not this week or next week, but eventually I am gonna like upgrade my packaging because I still have a lot of old slips and boxes to use up. We gotta go. And, um, apparently UPS doesn't do pickups, so I also have to go drop that off <laughs> at the post office. So let's go do all the things. super duper shining in my face right now oh my god and i'm all sweaty ew i've been running around because um one of my packages got returned to me so i had to like go to the ups store and um well the cheapest and fastest shipping was ups it was like five bucks so i had to redo that and um now i'm gonna go home hey guys it's the next day i'm at my mom's i woke up at seven in the morning and i have a massive headache because i only slept like six hours but i came over here to help her with this yard sale that she wanted to have and i put some of my stuff out there uh nothing sold but that's fine i don't care this is kind of forcing me to like do this order quickly i finished the hat the bucket hat while i was out there I'm gonna stretch out the stitches so it's like a little looser. And now I'm just doing the little side pieces. It's supposed to be a toad, apparently. But I think it's cute. I mean, if it's my head pretty comfortably. It's not in my eyes, so that's good. Hey guys, sorry about the beginning. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that better? Probably not. Let me clean the lens. That's probably the issue. Eat or eat or eat or eat or. So that wasn't the issue? Okay, I'll just stand in front of the thingy and then we'll do this. Yeah, does that help? Okay, so these weren't supposed to come. I mean, I paid for express shipping. The latest is supposed to be here is Monday. I wasn't expecting to wait all five days, whatever. They literally got here in two days. These are my glasses. They are literally, okay. I'm using my old prescription. So they're not a hundred percent like perfect for my eyeballs but i needed glasses for vegas and i ended up paying like 40 bucks for these anything is better than these these are like genuinely emergency but i can't i couldn't do it any <laughs> i couldn't do it anymore i'm sorry i just couldn't but my glasses got here i got them off of zenny i literally love their glasses so much I've had these frames, not this exact same pair, obviously, because these just got here, but I've had this frame for the past, I want to say, like, year or two. These are just the purple shift ones. I don't know if you guys can tell that they're purple shift. I wish I had my old ones to show you the difference, but you can see the purple at the end right here. I can see now. <laughs> 
And then I get home and this is what Julian did to the boat. <laughs> he put one of my sunny angels in there. That's hilarious. Um, we have a Halloween party tomorrow and I think we're looking at houses tomorrow too. I'm gonna finish this custom order and then show you guys the end result. Cause all I have to do is sew the pieces together. I asked Julian if he could come bring me the needle uh because i was at my mom's and he was like hee hee i forgot it where's my clothes that you washed sorry about the air in the background it's like it was really stuffy when i got here so i'm just trying to clear everything out i'm gonna finish this and then i'm going to text him that the order is ready i'm assuming they're either they're either like at school or work so i'm just gonna text them and then take a nap and then hopefully they're like, yeah, I won't be able to get it until six o'clock, you know? So here's hoping that I can take a nap because I have a massive headache. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the thing. I'm just yapping. And here is the toad hat. I just finished it. I actually don't know if toads, like things are like this or not. I don't know, but I just finished sewing it all up and it's ready to go. Apologies, apologies for like being disheveled and sweaty and like the mess everywhere. But I'm going to Vegas in a couple of days and I got orders on the weekend for a Snoopy. I got one of them on Saturday and I got another one this morning, I think. Something like that. It was this morning, like super early. I did both of them today and it's like nine o'clock this is the only thing that i did today it's fine because i mean they already paid for this this has to take priority over like art walk prep but i haven't done art walk prep so that's a little bit concerning because i still have to go to the post office i don't have to go to the post office i have to go to walmart to buy boxes and i think i'm gonna buy a ton of them in bulk because i've been needing the size six by six and i was supposed to go last week for some too but for some reason, they didn't have any in stock. So I'm gonna go right now and hopefully they have them in stock. If not, I'm gonna have to go to like a different Walmart because I'm over it, you know? I'm like trying to like show this to you, but I printed out my little packing slips um, on actual like sticky paper. They're supposed to be for thermal printers, but they came out really, really small. But for some reason, I can't get the aspect ratio right for it to print regularly unless i cut it to size like i would have to cut it to four by six so that they printed like actual four by six but i think this i think this is fine okay I have to go pick up boxes and right now i'm actually going to print out i'm gonna like print out the note and do like a little design on it myself because for some reason etsy is being really weird <laughs> to me lately so i can't like for some reason i can't print out specific things just going with the, through the app my laptop's kind of um out of commission currently i do have to print out my little like codes and everything i have to make another care instructions because this is like this is like a different thingy i'm pretty sure it's like around the same kinds of things but it's like a different material than the acrylics, obviously. So I have to do different care instructions for these. And since they're plushies, fully soaking them is not like a good idea because then they're not going to dry right. You're going to want to like spot clean these too, but I'm just going to make sure that it has the same kinds of care instructions as the other like thing that I already have. Does that make sense? So I don't have to make a whole other different care instruction for these. I can just use that one for both of the materials that I use. I need to check the Sweet Snuggles care instructions first online. And then hopefully I can just like reuse care instructions for this too. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there goes the printer. 30% off yarn. Wait a minute. No, I can't um use and care uh, machine wash warm do not bleach dry flat do not iron this is um a plushie i am gonna clean to spot clean only 
And then I'm just gonna take out the part where it says tumble dry low, air dry only. And so I'm going to download this. Print out care instructions. I very much have to change the aspect ratio on this because that's horrendous. Snip it real quick so it's not so bad. I'm gonna print out my little my note and then I think we should be good. And then we'll go to the store. We're gonna get the 11 by 7 and the 6 by 6 because I don't know which one's fit. Also, I'm trying to get candy Ooh. for the freaking art walk on Thursday, but there's not a lot of variety packs. It's always just like one kind of candy. We'll see. Everyone is pretty much asleep. But I'm at my mom's because, um, I, I I don't go to the post office. I have them pick it up when they come and pick up the mail from like, you know. Yes, it's just easier this way. But I'm gonna package my stuff now. uncooperative but i'm gonna wrap the last the, or not the last i'm gonna wrap the next one i'm having like a lot of fun with these orders i for some reason i've always been like super into like stationery and clerical work and all of that and i think it's so cute to like have the little labels and like stick them on stuff and it's it's a little stressful, but I like the packaging part of all of this. Like it's, it's really fun for me. I don't know why. I'm gonna start getting like branded stuff after I come back from Vegas because um, I'm getting a lot of orders and I feel like it's gonna be a little cuter if I'm not just using boxes from Walmart. This is super fun for me. I don't know why. He's like a little mummy wrapped in here. Look at him. As always, little thank you card with my coupon. And then new care instructions because the other ones were a little bit confusing. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna pop it off so that the tape doesn't stick. This is so freaking fun. Oh my God. I love this. I don't know if it's just me or if anybody else is like that, but I look and want to work at a post office just so I can do this. You know what I'm like with two? It's like Christmas wrapping. For some reason, that's my jam. I love wrapping presents. I should have probably gotten, or what's it called? I probably should have cut it where it's easy to take this apart because I was struggling with the other one pretty bad, but boom, that is too fun. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, make sure that I have my pickup request for tomorrow and then I'm gonna go home and see what I can market prep. It's, it's Tuesday, I've kind of been doing nothing. Um, I literally haven't even showered. I'm having a really, bad day mentally <laughs> oh god <sighs> i think i'm just like overly stressed because we have to be somewhere this weekend and then i have to be somewhere literally the day before we all leave to the trip and then it's my body can't tell whether it's like excitement and like intense anticipation or if it's genuine like stress and it's a whole thing i did want to show you guys um, I did three of these bumblebees last night. I just did the wings today. I did three of these. 
and then I did one of my Beetlejuice ones because I'm out of the white. A little bit iffy about doing Halloween stuff because if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell on Thursday, then I kind of have it literally the weekend before Halloween day and I feel like by then people are going to be over it. So since I'm like going somewhere this weekend, so I'm kind of holding back from doing Halloween stuff, but I did really want to do this puppy and he's just a little puppy in a ghost costume. Like genuinely super easy to do. I did it in black because I'm saving the rest of my like uh brown light color so that I can do an Eevee. But he is literally adorable and he's supposed to have like a little pumpkin basket coming out of his mouth. If this doesn't sell I'm gonna add the pumpkin basket and just like have him because he's so cute. Like I said I'm not doing the best. And also, sorry for the low light, but it's too much for my brain right now. I'm just gonna go about the rest of my day and then we can talk tomorrow. Hi, I did have to come on here and say, cause I'm, I did one of my little triceratops. I still have to, uh, to make the little horns and put them on. Technically doing this one upside down. Um, I think that's four and then five. Flip it to see what it's looking like. Tell me why. <laughs> it's not done yet, but like, this is so goofy. I love it so much. You guys wanna know something super funny? Send Julian to go do laundry like almost four hours ago. And apparently my laundry got stuck in the washing machine and it's just been recycling it through water for the past two hours, so. He should have been home by now, but he's not. So I did want to show you my finished little plushie. I'm going to make a couple more of these today. And then honestly, mm, I think I'm, I think I'm okay. I could do this in a dark purple, but I don't know if that's going to sell. I'll try it anyways. Anyways, the reason that I'm like coming on here isn't because I've actually done anything to show you guys. Besides the fact that I was scrolling on threads when I got home from grocery shopping and I saw something and I was like, wait a minute. I don't really have anything for Vegas. I wanted to finish my Hexicardi, but honestly guys, that's probably not gonna happen this year either. Not my fault, not my fault. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my art walk stuff, but not gonna get done. It's just not because I still have to go and like, buy more yarn and finish the back panels and then do the sleeves and it's like realistically I cannot do that within the next few days so let's just not okay and I'm scrolling on threads and I see this freaking spider web like top with like the bell sleeves oh my god something about bell sleeves does it for me like Yes, now I'm planning an outfit around that exact same post that I found. I do have to go buy a skirt, like a little, a little like skater skirt-esque type of thing. And um, hopefully I have, I don't think I do. I'll probably just go pick one up at Walmart, but I want a black tank top or like just a black um, skin tight freaking little t-shirt. Yes, I know words. Anyways. I think I started this like around three, something like that. Uh, I started slowing down towards the end of the first panel and I took a break and walked around and now I'm like trying to stretch out my arms because non sub crocheting for like two hours. I did this first panel in two hours, but here's the first panel. You cannot tell me that that is not like the coolest thing in the world. Ugh. So now I have an outfit planned for the actual festival, which I'm happy about. This is so cool. Um, this might not be a good idea because I might end up like getting into mosh pits. Probably not because I have a broken leg and that's how I broke my tibia the first time. But regardless, it's like there's going to be crowds around and there are like little things that can snag super easy. So we'll see how that ends up going but the first panel is done 
and I don't know if I need to do another round just yet. It's kind of looking like I might, um, but for now, I think I went up until 35 chains with this. So here's the first panel. This is the second um, panel. I'm halfway through in the rows with that one. But I need a break, so I think I'm going to make, like, a dinosaur or two and then rest my hands and then keep going with this. Because it's a lot. It's a lot. My hands are aching, so. Break time. It's pretty much the end of this video, guys. If you guys want to see what the spider top looks like on, make sure that you subscribe because I feature it in my next video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.